Imagine a country where bicycles outnumber people, the ground beneath your feet was once the sea, and towering giants walk among us. Intrigued? This isn't the setting of a fantasy novel, it's the Netherlands, a country as rich in history and innovation as it is in culture and charm. Join us today as we uncover 21 facts about this remarkable European nation. Bicycle Nation. The number of bicycles in the Netherlands exceeds the human population, with over 22 million bikes. This phenomenon has its roots in the post. World War II era, when the Dutch government actively promoted cycling as an affordable and practical mode of transport. Today, cities like Amsterdam and Utrecht are adorned with extensive bike lanes and multi-level bike parking facilities, and cycling is deeply ingrained in Dutch culture. Reclaimed land. Approximately 17% of the Netherlands consists of land reclaimed from the sea and lakes. This remarkable feat began in the 14th century with the construction of dikes and wind-powered pumps. The Zuiderzee Works and the Delta Works are two of the most ambitious projects, transforming sea regions into habitable and agricultural land using a system of dikes, dams, and polders. Tallest people. The Dutch are, on average, the tallest people globally. This notable height is a result of various factors, including genetics and a high-protein diet rich in dairy products. Historical records suggest a rapid increase in average height in the late 19th century, coinciding with the nation's economic development and improvements in healthcare and nutrition. Aren't these facts about the Netherlands astonishing? If you're enjoying these facts, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We've got plenty more intriguing facts and stories coming your way soon. Now, let's continue with the, some more awesome facts. Amsterdam's Canals Amsterdam's extensive canal system which surpasses Venice, was primarily constructed in the 17th century during the Dutch Golden Age. These canals were not just for aesthetics, they played a crucial role in city planning and transport. The three main canals, Herringracht, Prinsengracht, and Kaisersgracht, formed concentric belts around the city, facilitating the transportation of goods and helping in city defense. Orange Carrots the iconic orange carrot was first cultivated in the Netherlands during the 16th century. Originally, carrots found in Europe were purple, white, or yellow. As a distinct variety, the orange carrot was developed as a tribute to William of Orange, who led the struggle for Dutch independence. World's first stock market, the Amsterdam Stock Exchange, established in 1602, is recognized as the world's first official stock market. This was a direct result of the Dutch East India Company, one of the first multinational corporations and the first company to issue stock. The establishment of this stock exchange marked the beginning of modern financial capitalism. Coffee consumption. Dutch citizens rank among the world's top coffee consumers. The Netherlands has a long history of coffee consumption, dating back to the 17th century when the Dutch were significant players in the coffee trade. Today, the average Dutch person consumes around 2.4 cups of coffee per day, reflecting the nation's deep-rooted coffee culture. Dutch Masters The Netherlands was the home of the Dutch Masters, renowned painters like Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Van Gogh. These artists were part of the Dutch Golden Age of Painting, a period in the 17th century when Dutch art was highly sought after, characterized by its vivid realism and attention to detail. Their works significantly influenced the course of Western art. Elfstedden Tocht The Elfstedden Tocht is a legendary long-distance skating tour in the Netherlands, covering approximately 200 kilometers. This event takes place in the province of Friesland and can only be held when the natural ice along the route is thick enough, which is increasingly rare due to climate change. The tour links 11 historical Frisian cities, and the tradition dates back to 1909. Heineken Heineken, one of the most famous beer brands globally, originated in the Netherlands. Gerard Adrian Heineken bought a small brewery in Amsterdam in 1864, laying the foundation for the Heineken brand. The company's significant growth over the years is a reflection of the Dutch brewing tradition and innovation in beer production. Largest Flower Garden Koikenhof, also known as the Garden of Europe, is the world's largest flower garden in Lissa, Netherlands. Spanning over 32 hectares, Kuchenhof is mainly known for its tulips, showcasing over 7 million flower bulbs planted annually. The garden's history dates back to the 15th century, when it served as the kitchen garden, hence Kuchenhof, 
for a nearby castle. The transformation into a flower garden began in 1949 to present a flower exhibit where growers from all over the Netherlands and Europe could show off their hybrids, and it has since grown into a world-famous attraction. Windmills. There are over 1,000 historic windmills still standing in the Netherlands. These windmills, a symbol of Dutch heritage, were historically used for various purposes such as grinding grain, sawing wood, and pumping water out of the lowlands to prevent flooding. Some of the most famous windmills can be found at Kinderdijk, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where 19 beautifully preserved windmills are lined up. Efteling Theme Park Efteling, one of the oldest theme parks in the world, is a fantasy-themed amusement park in Kaatshoevel. It opened in 1952 and was initially a nature park with a playground and a fairy tale forest. Over the years, Efteling has evolved, adding numerous rides, attractions and characters based on elements from ancient myths and legends, fairy tales, fables and folklore. Legal Prostitution The Netherlands legalized prostitution in 2000 with the aim of improving the safety and rights of sex workers. This policy includes strict regulations and licensing systems, making the Netherlands one of the few countries in the world with such a regulated sex industry. The decision reflects the Dutch approach to social issues, emphasizing harm reduction and pragmatic solutions. First in gay marriage. In 2001, the Netherlands made history by becoming the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. This landmark decision was the culmination of a long history of the gay rights movement in the Netherlands, which began in the early 20th century. The law not only allowed same-sex couples to marry, but also to adopt children. Gouda cheese. Gouda cheese, named after the city of Gouda, is one of the most famous and oldest cheeses worldwide, dating back to the 12th century. Unlike common belief, the cheese is not necessarily produced in Gouda, but traded there. Gouda cheese is known for its rich, unique flavor and texture, which varies depending on age. Dutch language. Dutch, spoken by over 23 million people as a first language, is a West Germanic language. It shares close similarities with German and English, reflecting its historical and linguistic evolution. The Dutch language has played a crucial role in the formation of Afrikaans, a daughter language spoken in South Africa and Namibia. Polder model. The Polder model is a consensus decision-making process in Dutch economic and social policies, originating from the need to manage water systems collectively in the low-lying Dutch terrain. This model emphasizes compromise and practical solutions involving all stakeholders in the decision-making process. Water management. Given its substantial part below sea level, the Netherlands has developed into a global leader in water management. This expertise is evident in their intricate system of dikes, canals, and pumping stations, designed to control water levels and protect the land from flooding. This system is not only a feat of engineering, but also a necessity for the survival of much of the country. Bicycle capital. Amsterdam, often called the world's bicycle capital, has a well-established bicycle culture. The city's infrastructure is uniquely adapted to cyclists, with over 400 kilometers of bike lanes. The widespread use of bicycles in Amsterdam is a result of careful urban planning and a commitment to sustainable living. Tulip Mania In the 17th century, the Netherlands experienced a period called Tulip Mania. During this time, tulip bulbs became highly prized and used as a currency. The craze reached its peak between 1634 and 1637, creating one of the first recorded speculative bubbles in history. Rare tulip bulbs were sold for extraordinarily high prices, sometimes equivalent to the cost of a house in Amsterdam. I hope you learned more about the country than you already knew. Let us know which country you want us to cover next. And please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Your support really helps us grow the channel.